But this is what the Buddha keeps saying. And in, in more practical terms, uh, we had the earlier depression of the 30s. FDR said the only thing to fear is fear itself. But the elitists, for want of a better word, who run the world because of the money they have, the uh, uh, capital they have, the power of production and distribution and uh, consumption uh, uh, that they exercise, governed by fear in subtle ways right. in which, of course, the modern day media uh, uh, accepts the spin and allows this to happen. So I think that uh, I, uh, and I ask you very humbly, feel that the, the, the answer now, but it has to be quick, is education, education, education of the young, plus as you yourself in your transformation, because uh, I was rereading uh, Your Life is Described by Dickens, um, and uh, 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 the, uh, uh, according to uh, Dickens, uh, the transformation of Scrooge is interesting to witness as well. Though his character is at first unlikable, he quickly becomes both humorous and likable as you have been in this interview. Dickens' method of delving in Scrooge's past is an interesting psychological statement that holds cons consistent today in 2009, February. Many psychologists believe that poor behavior is a reflection of pain felt deep in childhood. And that is true of every single human being. Such is the case, or was the case with you, Mr. Scrooge. When Mr. Scrooge learns to pity himself, he can become uh, empathetic to others. It is easy for him to suddenly relate to Tiny Tim who earlier he would have dismissed as one of the, quote, surplus population which you have just spoken about. So, in conclusion, I would say Scrooge's complete reversal is sentimental but believable because Charles Dickens has been sure to scribe the emotional path Scrooge takes to reform. So, what would your final sermon right now be to people of what path they should follow? Because for Buddha, when he was asked for Buddha, what should we do? His jailer sitting under the banyan tree asked him. He kept on meditating for quite some time, then looked up and said, Oh, follow the middle path. And then he started meditating again. And then his young, one of his young jailers said, oh, Buddha, uh, what is the middle path? And he said, the middle path of moderation in all things, even in moderation itself. So what is your sermon today, in conclusion? I think in conclusion, the, the sermon really is, the fundamental shift that needs to occur is from fear to love. Um, and if we can make that shift, I agree with you, education, 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 but I, after years of, try, of trying to educate the intellect, and I mean the environmental movement is, a, is, a, is a, an incredible example, um, people now know about the environmental problems, uh, but they still haven't changed their actions. So to me, the education that needs to occur is through example. We need to have a real life working model real world working model of what a community system based on love and concern looks like, that it works, that everybody fro uh, prospers, that there's synergy, everybody's respected, and then give people a choice. I mean, I consider myself a, well, I used to consider myself a revolutionary, but revolution is historically one of conflict, I'm in, you're out, uh, and so I've actually come to call myself now a re-evolutionary. And by that I mean to back up to this fear versus love. We've gone down the fear path and to, and to go down the love path and just create alternatives. I'm not against 
the, the existing banks. I'm not against the existing government. I don't want to tear them down. But what I do want to do is, is create alternatives along this path of love so people can have a choice. And I, I trust people and I trust the choice that they will make. All of us should pay heed to this sermon of yours. And all I can wish you this coming December is a truly happy, very happy, Christmas, and I hope that by December, Christmas will also be happy for millions of others. Well, I thank you. Mr. Thank you.